Okay, so I was just editing this video. I wanted to throw it up right away and I'm realizing that there is no intro whatsoever. So here I am to give you some context. Basically, I started vlogging little clips during my favorite time of the year, Gemini season because I have like nine friends that are Geminis. I really, really love birthdays. I love buying little silly, like inside joke type things for people. I was finding it a bit more challenging during quarantine because I can't really go anywhere. So I spent a lot of time on Etsy and shopping small businesses and found such cute things. Here I am getting excited filming all of this thinking that it'll go into some kind of larger vlog, but because of everything that's been going on with Black Lives Matter, there really was nothing else to go into the vlog. So I decided just to kind of keep all of these little birthday clips together, edited them, here they are. It was filmed over the course of like two weeks, honestly. In the meantime, obviously I still wanted to get content up and the Black Lives Matter video was very important and took precedent. That's why the past two vlogs have been like from the archive vlogs. I found the footage on memory cards. I thought it would be a good way for me to still force myself to edit and stick to a schedule and also just practice editing because I haven't been doing it in years. I hope that kind of explains a little bit why things seem a little disjointed. The point is it's a new week, we got a new video. So if you're interested in shopping small businesses or finding cute little silly ass things on Etsy, then I think you'll like this vlog. If not, you won't, that's fine. Next week's video is gonna be a bit more like main channel style. I have a couple more memory cards with old vlog footage on it that I might still piece together and throw up. That's kind of the game plan, okay folks? Making sure we're all on the same page. Enjoy the video. Congratulations to everyone that survived Gemini season, but now Mercury's in retrograde, so now we're really effed. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay guys, so it's, I think Thursday. I wish I knew what day it was, um, but I wanted to show you, I got some stuff for my friend Emma. It's her birthday on Monday. She was actually supposed to be coming to New York for her birthday weekend and obviously had to cancel the trip and everything. I have been collecting some little items over the past couple of weeks and I wanted to show them because I thought they were so cute. She loves, loves, loves David Bowie. So I found this David Bowie coloring book from Amazon that actually has like little stories and stuff in there. And I thought they were really cute. I don't know, I guess I just keep thinking like, She's home alone also. It's something for her to do while she's hanging out at home. That was from Amazon. And then I also just got like metallic colored pencils. I thought that would be cute. Then I picked up a couple of these Unreal, basically Reese's peanut butter cup dupes, but I'm pretty sure that this is a vegan like version. And I know that I've seen her get these before. So I figured she would really like those. Then I got her this card. She loves Star Wars just like me, and we always talk about Baby Yoda, so I got this from Etsy. I'll leave a link to it. It says, happy birthday, baby, Yoda best. Is that not the cutest thing ever? So I'm gonna write a cute little note in there. And then Emma actually works at a dermatologist office. Like, she's still considered an essential worker right now. I somehow got the idea to get her a mask, which I know she can't wear this at the office, but I guess she could wear this, you know, like if she goes to the grocery store or whatever. And her favorite Disney movie is Peter Pan. Like she loves Peter Pan. I got her this mask that has the little Peter Pan print on it. I thought it was so cute. I will also leave a link to this in the description if you're interested. Yeah, it's like dumb little stuff, but this is the best that I could do just to send her like a little care package for her birthday. I have pink ribbon here that I like to use whenever I wrap stuff. And I thought, okay, so I got this wrapping paper a long time ago for my friend Kate. It has kittens in space and I thought kept it because obviously like iconic. I completely forgot that it was like Christmas related. I thought it was just kittens in space. I didn't know it was Christmas kittens in space. So I guess we cannot use this. This will have to be saved. This is just plain gold paper and that's the only other wrapping paper I have. So I think I'm gonna wrap this stuff and put like a little ribbon on it. Hopefully try and make it look cute and ship it off tomorrow and hopefully FedEx can get it there by Monday. I kind of dropped the ball on this. I should have mailed it earlier because I've had it for a long time. I don't know, I'm not really good at knowing what day it is anymore. So anyway, we're gonna work on this now and hopefully make it look cute. This is everything ready to go. I realized that I was kind of banking on having an Amazon box that would be the right size to put this in. And believe it or not, even though I get like six packages from Amazon a week, I mean, that's an exaggeration, but I get a lot of them. None of the boxes this week were the right size, so I'm just gonna bring this in a bag to FedEx tomorrow and obviously have to buy like a box from them, which is fine, but I just 
puts ribbon on the candy, the chocolate I mean. I taped the card to this bubble mailer that I had. I put the mask inside with some tissue paper and then I just taped the pencils and used pink ribbon onto the coloring book. And then I remembered that I had this blue glitter that she used on me for my birthday makeup. I had kept it in my purse that night and like brought it all the way back to New York with me. So I kept it in this little um, Ziploc bag. She loves John Boyega. I know that's like her favorite guy from the sequel trilogy. So I put it in the Ziploc bag. I thought that was like the cutest way I could do that really. So everything is ready to go. And it is my goal to wake up tomorrow at some normal hour. Cause I keep waking up at like four o'clock, but that is not acceptable tomorrow. We have to wake up earlier, so. Hello, I'm really, really, really warm. I'm so hot. <laughs> I just went to go pick up coffee and it's like 70 degrees and I'm wearing a full set and the mask and I was like sweating and it was, it was bad. Anyway, I'm back now. This is the set. The color is thunder and I got the V neck top. Obviously the leggings. Actually, now is a great time to order set because they just announced on their Instagram either yesterday or the day before, they literally laid out all of the steps that they will be taking to diversify their company. And they laid out like model hiring, PR gifting, what they're doing internally and what they're donating to and like they just were so clear. At least a decent portion of their proceeds, I'll, I'll probably put something in the description box, but the proceeds from their sales in June are gonna be going to Causes for Black Lives Matter and they are also gonna be matching donations. Like they're just doing so much. So if you guys have ever considered getting set, now's the time to do it because you will be supporting the company, uh, which is, you know, small business and there are really great women that run that company. But beyond that, you're contributing to Black Lives Matter to um, causes that are very important right now. Actually, just to show you, I also got Cosmo, which is this really beautiful purple. I got the one shoulder bra, even though, okay, this sounds so stupid. I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I don't really like it. Like it fits fine, it looks cute, I guess. But in terms of like showing off my boobs, I guess, I don't really like it. I think that the V cut is so much more flattering on me but so many people compliment me when I wear the one shoulder one. They think it looks amazing because I have it in another color. So I was like, fine, if this is what the people want, I'll get the one shoulder and I want to switch up what I have because if you look at my set active drawer, I literally have a set active drawer. And then I got the leggings. I'm pretty sure they're donating all the proceeds from their next drop to Black Lives Matter also. So it's like the rest of the sales for June and the next drop and they're pledging to donate at least $10,000 no matter how many sales they have. So anyway, amazing. I love set. But the other exciting thing I got in the mail today, which I wanted to show you guys because during quarantine, I have been so passionate <laughs> about ordering stuff on Etsy. I guess just because I wanna support small businesses, but I'm also realizing how many cool things are on there. And I've been using and ordering from Etsy for a really long time. I just kind of forgot about it, honestly. And I think like I stopped doing creative things. So I stopped really looking for like, kind of like one-off cool bespoke things. But I have had so many birthdays like during quarantine, which I've been filming, so you probably know Emma and my cousin Alexandria, and then my best friend Steph, and then I have the boy that I used to nanny for. His birthday is the 10th, and then my friend David is the 11th, and, and Steph is also the 10th or the 11th. Like there's just so many birthdays all in one week, so I'm like, ugh, I need presents. I just think like trying to be creative and finding ways to celebrate people. Wait, I just saw how cute this is. Sorry. Focus. I don't know, I just feel like finding really, really specific to that person cute little things on Etsy has been so much fun for me. I wanted to open this on camera because I just read the note from the seller. Her name is Jacqueline. Her shop is called Hey Jacqueline Art and I'll leave it linked down below. But basically, a little backstory, Steph loves like her planner, like she's one of those people. So I thought it'd be so cute if I got her like a bunch of planner stickers that are like crazy and fun. Cause I used to be one of those planner bitches too. So I know like what the people need. So I found these really cute quarantine stickers, which were just so funny to me. So I ordered them and the girl included a note and she said, thank you so much for your purchase. You've made my entire week. If there's anything you need, please let me know. I'd love to get your feedback by leaving a review. I would love to know what you thought. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I can't wait for you to enjoy your new piece of art. I was like, Wait, that's so nice. Anyway, I just opened it and look at this. I'm a sucker for good packaging. And she made it pink. Like she knows that I love pink. 
What is this? Her business card? Oh my god, an extra sticker. That's so funny. I love when sticker shops do that. Oh yes, 20% off my next purchase. Love that. See, stuff like that always has me coming back. I ordered these masks from Etsy, which I'll show probably later. I don't know. I love them. And then I was going to order more. And then the shop emailed me with a coupon to order more. And I was like, okay, I will. Watch me then. <laughs> this is a sticker I got for Steph. Part of me doesn't want to open it because this is, well, I guess I can retie it. It's packaged pretty nicely. Oh my lord. I hope she laughs. I like to make Steph laugh. <laughs> if she's watching, she's also always watches my videos first. She's like queen, number one subscriber. I love making her laugh. <laughs> so I hope this makes her laugh. Shut up. Look at these quarantine stickers. Oh my god. There's an Aperol Spritz, a Netflix. She told me at the beginning of quarantine they were watching Tiger King. It was a Tiger King, a Lysol, a wine glass. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I also got her. Let's go. I'll show you. Okay, so this was the card. I actually got this like a couple months ago. I just knew I had so many birthdays coming up. Uh, so I got this one. It's just blank inside, a little pug. And then I got from a different seller. These came the other day. They're all from Harry Styles' SNL appearance. Like... I'm sorry. Hello, sir. Are these not so hilarious? I love these. And I can just picture like her having a normal day in her planner and then she just like, you know, sticks him right on top. Like Samantha's coming to town. There. <laughs> anyway. All right, well, I will check back in with you later. Okay, so this is exciting. I just got Milk Bar delivered. My excuse is it's my cousin's birthday and I want to send her something. And I was like, if I'm going to order, I may as well get more stuff for myself. So we're going to open this. Oh my God. If you don't know, I literally had two Milk Bar birthday cakes this year. So I love Milk Bar. Okay, so I got these strawberry truffles, strawberry shortcake truffles to try. I've never tried them. And then for myself, I got a blueberry and cream cookie and one of the classic confetti cookies. And then the other one is for my cousin to put into her little birthday package. I've had to get really creative over the past couple of weeks with trying to come up with ways to send people stuff for their birthday that isn't like outrageous and huge because normally I am that bitch that shows up at a birthday party with a huge bag filled with stuff and I love to wrap it and decorate it, but obviously stuff like that doesn't really ship well. So anyway, I use these like bubble mailers when I do Poshmark stuff. So they're cute, I can put it in there. So this is <laughs> the dumb little card that I got for my cousin. Like I said, the confetti cookie. I have so much of this pink ribbon. I just love tying it onto literally everything. So I'm going to put this in the envelope I decorated and then put the cookie and then slide it into here. Bring it to FedEx tomorrow and mail it off. We're all good. Oh my God, you guys, I'm covering up my address obviously, but look how freaking cute this is. It just came. It's from this Etsy seller. I will leave her info down below. Okay, we're gonna open it. This is so cute. Oh my Lord. See, I always love when they do this. First of all, what in the world? Like if any of you have handwriting like this, Bless you. Thank you so much, Samantha. We really hope you enjoy your new stickers. It means a lot to us. You'd support our shop. Thanks for helping us grow. Kate and Annabelle. Oh my God. They just included this little be kind sticker. That's cute. Ah, these are the Taco Bell ones. Why is this so funny to me? Oh my freaking God. Shut up. Nachos, taco 12 pack, a taco. What are these things called? Cinnamon twists? Look at this, bro. You've got to be kidding me. This Baja Blast burrito. <laughs> I think this is why I bought this pack. Look at this. It says Yo Quiero Taco Bell on it. Oh my lord. This one says, bro, focus. It says, after this, can we get Taco Bell? LMAO. There's a heart that just says Taco Bell on it. There's a text one that says, do you want Taco Bell? And then there's all of the sauces, which all say like live mass, born saucy, the normal stuff. And then just a Taco Bell thing that says love of my life on it. Okay, these are perfect. I'm so happy. Okay, and it came, today's, uh, Saturday the 6th and Steph's birthday is Wednesday. So hopefully, oh damn it, the post office is closed already. Maybe I can go to FedEx tomorrow. I think FedEx is open on Sunday, I think. 
and then I can send them out and hopefully she'll get them. Yay! I'm having the laziest day ever today. Actually, that's not true. I bought a new phone today. It has to be delivered to me because all of the Apple stores, Apple stores, all of the AT&T stores on the Upper West Side are boarded up for some reason. I don't know why. And it doesn't have anything to do with the protests because we really haven't had any protesting this far up north yet and no other buildings are like that. So I think it's something different. I think it's like AT&T themselves, but anyway, I had to order it online um, and it'll be shipped in a few days. That took a while just to kind of figure that all out. And I had to order a new phone for my dad who's in Chicago and I had to like get it sent to the store where he is and call them and make sure they knew it was coming and like find out their social distancing rules so that my dad can be safe when he goes to pick it up. So it feels like I like I did nothing because I have nothing to show for it. Oh, also I had a mix that was scheduled to go up today and it went up, which is funny because sometimes when I schedule stuff, I like forget and then I just see it in my feed and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I did that. I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break today and just watching Real Housewives, which is absolute crap and having a nice big, big iced coffee and just trying to take a little bit of a breather because I've been nonstop posting shit. I filmed, edited, and uploaded in one day. Um, that was the Black Lives Matter video that I did. I feel like I'm always on my phone. There's always a new article to read. There's always new information to feel like you need to be circulating and everything is so like pressing, pressing, and I really don't have any other excuse because I don't have anything else to do. So it makes me feel like I'm on all the time. And like last night, I took like five seconds to breathe and like think about something else, like something random. And then I almost just started crying because I was like, wait a minute, I can't like, I can't have emotions right now. Like I don't, I forgot what those are. So it's just been really weird. A um, couple of days, obviously, but mental health is important. So I'm going to allow myself not to do anything today in terms of putting up content or feeling like I have to do anything. Even me filming this, like, I don't know. I don't know, kids. I maintain that it's important to like do dumb crap sometimes. So I'm going to watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and drink a really big iced coffee, eat some frozen mangoes from Trader Joe's. Oh my God, that's my favorite. And I'm gonna like order some candles online. That's the key to my heart. Okay, so I just finished kind of wrapping up Steph's stuff. So I put all of the stickers in this tissue paper that I had and put some stars on it. I got a little carried away with the stars and the ribbon. And then this is the card, which looks so cute. I love using these really big letters that I have, but I can obviously only use it on people that have short names. So I just have the card like this. And then I got one of each of the smart sweets that the grocery store by my apartment had. There are other flavors, but these are the only ones that they had. And also I'm trying to fit it all in here. So let's see, hopefully it'll fit. Anyway, um, I'm gonna try and run this to FedEx right now. So, yay, I'm excited. Okay, so that's it. That's all the footage. I will leave all the shops linked down below. Hopefully you got some cutie ideas. I'm second guessing if this vlog is even worth uploading now. <laughs> but, too late. Bye. Like a dude, like a